Topic 18, let's practice three, number one. Consider the neutralization reaction of potassium hydroxide with sulfuric acid to produce water and potassium sulfate. If I have 130 milliliters of potassium hydroxide with a molarity of 0.15, how many milliliters of sulfuric acid with a molarity of 2.3 would I need to add to completely react with the base? First, we write the equation out. From prior knowledge of the polyatomic ions, we know that hydroxide is OH with a negative charge and sulfate is SO4 with a negative two charge. But we don't stop here. We have to balance the equation. On the right hand side, we have two potassiums. So therefore, we need two potassiums on the left hand side as well. On the left hand side, we have four hydrogens so therefore, we need four hydrogens on the right-hand side as well. Now, we can begin. Potassium hydroxide, given from the question, has 0.15 molarity and 0.13 liters. We derive the liters from the 130 milliliters given in the question. We change it to liters to suffice with the molarity equation that we are about to use. M equals N over V. M being the molarity, which is 0.15, and V being the liters, which is 0.13. When we multiply 0.15 and 0.13, we get 0 0.0195 moles of KOH. We use the molarity given in the question for H2SO4 to put into the dilution equation where M1 and V1 is the liters and molarity of KOH, and M2 and V2 is the molarity and liters of H2SO4. We isolate V2 because that's what we're trying to solve. So we multiply 0.15 and 0.13, and then divide that answer by 2.3, which gives us 0.00847. Liters of H2SO4. Using the molarity equation again to solve the moles of H2SO4, we plug M and V, which is 2.3M and 0.00847L. We multiply this to get the moles of H2SO4, which is 0 0.0195 moles of H2SO4. Knowing the moles of both H2SO4 and KOH, as well as the liters of H2SO4, now we can find the limiting reagent between the two. To find the limiting reagent, we have to multiply the moles of KOH, which is 0 0.0195, by the ratio between KOH and H2O. You can also pick the ratio between KOH and K2SO4, but we'd rather H2O, but you can do it your way. 0 0.0195 times 2 over 2, which is the moles of H2O and the moles of KOH, or 0 0.0195 times 1, gives us 0 0.0195 moles of H2O. We compare this with the moles received uh, from H2SO4. We multiply 0 0.0195 moles of H2SO4 by 2 over 1, which is the ratio between H2O and H2SO4, and it gives us 0 0.039 moles of H2O. From here, we can tell that KOH is the limiting reagent because there is not enough KOH to react with the moles of H2SO4. We multiply 0 0.0195, which is the moles from KOH, by 1 over 2, which is the ratio between KOH and H2SO4, to give us the moles of H2SO4, which is 0 0.00975 moles of H2SO4. Now we are finally able to find the volume of H2SO4. 
using the molarity equation once again. M, the molarity, is 2.3, and N, which is the mole, is 0 0.00975. We isolate the V by dividing 0 0.00975 by 2.3. This gives us 0 0.004239. As the volume in liters. But remember, the question does not ask for liters, it asks for milliliters. We multiply this answer, 0 0.004239, by 1000 to get milliliters. So the answer is 4.24 milliliters, or if you want to round, 4.2 milliliters. In the video, you may see that there is a discrepancy between the answers. But this is simply because of significant figures. If you rounded this up or this up, the answer will shrink slightly and you will be closer and closer to 4.3, which is the answer given. We decided to keep the numbers and not round as much. So we got 4.2. So thank you for watching and keep going with chemistry. <laughs>